Welcome back to GTU. Oral health care is important for overall health, and it's so important to teach our kids good oral hygiene. Joining me now in the sponsored interview is Haima and Logan, both dental students at Roseman University. Welcome to the two of you. Thank you for having us. Thanks. I love this event that Roseman University is putting on a free dental clinic. Haima, let's describe what it's like to have this uh, free clinic. It's a very fortunate event to host at our school because it's an event just for kids that are 18 and under and they come in and we do a screening and a cleaning and we educate them about oral health and we educate them about preventing um, any like decay or anything because when you have a problem in your mouth that is uh, extensive and it, like it, you can overlap it in your life and like in your school life as well and it prevents you from doing well in school and so making sure that you educate your children on oral health care from a young age is very important because they build those habits from a young age and they use them all throughout their life. Well, it's an indication of other health issues potentially and good oral hygiene means good health. Logan, let's talk about some of the kids. This is a humongous event. You're expecting hopefully about six to 700 people to come through. Yeah, last year we had over 500. We're planning on more. We have all students hands on deck. It's a super fun, crazy day, but it's super exciting for the kids. We wanna make them feel very welcome, have a good experience with the so that they want to come back. No appointments are being taken. First come, first serve. Mm -hmm. What types of services will you be providing? So when they come in, we will uh, bring them up to our fourth floor clinic where we will screen them. And then uh, that basically just means we check their mouth uh, for any decay, any work that they might need. And we give them a cleaning. And then after that appointment, we give them a voucher for a comprehensive exam, um, x-rays, sealants. And then on top of that, they get $100 for any future work that they need. I'm looking at video right there. You're making it fun mm -hmm. and educational. Nobody wants to have a bad experience at the dental office, so you make it fun. Yeah, so kids are very scared of the dentist and like that's what is usually known, but uh, we have a carnival and uh, it's very fun. There's games and those are all educational and they get prizes. So, and we're also trained by very good dentists at our school, uh, especially the pediatric dentists at our school. They teach us well on how to approach kids because they're not like us, you know, they're not gonna use logic. They're gonna see something shiny and they're gonna gravitate towards that. So that's what we use when we have uh, kids in our clinic and we play with them and we have games and it's very fun. and. It's it's very educational. Just a fun atmosphere. And Logan, I was worried, okay, if there is no appointment, then you're going to be waiting a long, long time. But you say no wait time. Yeah, there's usually a very minimal wait. We have activities to do while they're waiting, but we have so many students ready to receive all the kids that usually we're just bringing people in and there's minimal wait for everybody. Because you're saying that for pretty much every patient, there is a student who's actually going through the dental services. Yep. What other types of um, services can you expect? Are they x-rays that are happening right on the spot? Um, not at this uh, event, but when we do give them the voucher, they do get a free x-ray, a part of it. So they can come back and they can get that free x-ray done. But cleanings are happening there. Mm -hmm. And also families with multiple kids, can they bring all of the kids? Yeah, bring them all in. They'll <laughs> each get an in. individual voucher when they leave. And then parents and other adults, they can also schedule an appointment at a clinic the day, days after that. But just that day is for the kids. But bring all the kids. And so mark your calendar. It's happening next Friday. On the 16th from 9 to 4, walk in. Bring your cousins, bring your friends, bring your neighbor's kids. Just bring them all. <laughs> and they don't have to show any requirements. It's just walk in. Yeah. Right. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for doing this. For more than a decade, Roseman University has been providing this service. Thank you so much to the both of you. Thank you for having yeah, us. Thank you. And thank you to Roseman University for sponsoring this segment.